Hi all, I am Amr Abdelal and we are going today to the first series of All You Want to Know About. And the first episode will be Pythons and Boas Diseases. Follow me and start experience. Yes, of All You Want to Know About. Start experience. And the first Start experience. Now, we are on our way, I have a friend here, I have a great bit store, but he has a problem in one of his pythons. I guess that it is a respiratory disease. Let's go and discover what happened. Finally, we reached our destination. Let's start the experience. Richard. Pythons are very sensitive reptiles. So, if you don't provide the best conditions for these creatures, this will be they will be exposed to diseases. Some of those are fatal. That will be very hard to recover. And some, one minute. And some of these can be treated by the vet. Now, we will offer some solutions for these diseases in case there is no vet near you. Here is the bison. First of all, you want to know the best temperature for bisons and boas are from 29 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. Okay? And the best humidity is from 50 to 60 percent. And these are the main two factors are the most important to avoid the diseases and also they are the main reason for any infection so be careful humidity and temperature are the main two factors as we are expected it is a respiratory disease what is the symptoms of this disease how you can know that your bison infected with the disease there's four points if you found it on your bison that means your bison has it had disposed to this disease. First, your bison is inactive even when it is hungry and there is cramps in his body muscles. Two, non-regular breathing and a blocking in his nostril. When you catch your bison, put your hand in front of his mouth and his nostril. If you find an unregular breathing, that is a sign. Three, abstain from food. Be careful. It is a very important point that if you found that your bison refused any type of food you offered, that is a very good a very good sign that there is a problem with your bison. Four, a secretion and liquid will appear in the nose and mouth. Catch your, catch your reptile, check for his mouth and for his nostril, you will find secretion or liquid. These four points mean that your bison is disposed to receptory disease. So, what is the treatment? Now, we know that our bison is exposed to receptory disease. What is the treatment? It's very simple and very known medicine in the vet. Its name is Enrofluxacin. Enrofluxacin. I will write the name in the video. Enrofluxacin antibiotic injection. How to use it? It's very simple. Inject the muscles with insulation injection. One centimeter to every 10 kilogram. One centimeter to every 10 kilogram. Okay? Be careful that the amount of the antibiotic depends on the weight of the bison. Okay? Two, temperature will be 30 degrees of Celsius. And raise the humidity to 80%. Three, make inhalation 
once per day just for half an hour using Vabazol, Vabazol. I will write also the name in the video or any other inhaler, no problem, but just inhalation, make inhalation just half an hour once per day. After four days, you'll find your bison became better. After four days, you will find the bison became better. You will, you will inject him once per day with one centimeter to every 10 kilogram, raise the humidity, the like temperature will be 30 degrees Celsius and make inhalation once half an hour per day. Okay? After four days, you will find it better. And finally, what is the reason of the disease? There is five reasons for this one, this type of disease. First is the sudden change in temperature degree. From summer to winter and from winter to summer, these two periods are very dangerous on pythons. Two, bad ventilation for the enclosure. You have to be sure that your enclosure has a good ventilation. Three, disease might transfer from the breed to the bison. So, you have to be sure that the breed is not infected. Four, the lack of attention, of cleanliness. Five, transfer the disease from a wounded bison to a healthy one. So these five reasons are the main reasons for this disease. Finally, hope that all have been evident from the video. Thanks and see you in the next video.